Camden Disability Actions Engagement Officer. Hi there, my name is Tom McDonough. I'm the Engagement Officer for Camden Disability Action. Camden Disability Action is based at the Greenwood Centre in Kentish Town. So my role is to support disabled people in Camden to have a voice, to speak up about issues that are important to them, to make sure that Camden Council is listening to us and ultimately working together with us in partnership to make services better for disabled people in this borough. My role is Pan Disability, which means I work with all groups of disabled people in the borough. What is engagement? Engagement happens when organisations like the council and ordinary citizens meet each other and talk about what the issues are, what people really care about, and what needs to be done about those issues. There are different levels of engagement. At the lowest end, organisations can just give people information. At the highest end, organisations work in partnership with people. So why bother with engagement? It gives you a chance to change the way organisations plan and deliver their services. It also allows communities and organisations to build relationships. Thirdly, it gives communities a chance to use their strengths and skills to make positive changes. Fourthly, it gives communities a voice. And finally, it can deliver better results because the goals are based on what communities truly want and need. So that's a brief explanation of what engagement is. Now let's look at what people think about how engagement has gone so far in Camden. Camden Council are not really very good at listening uh, at the beginning of anything. They sort of have their own way of doing things and it's just like a train moving in a straight line. <laughs> I find with consultations it's a matter of a uh, decision has been made already, it's just like playing lip service. Okay, we'll consult them, we'll see what the input is, but the decision's already been made, so it's just sort of like going through the steps of, okay, it's, we've consulted, great, it's, you know, and uh, you know, that's how I find it. But there's good news too. Well, Camden Council do listen to Synergy now. It's took a long time. For example, at Planning Together, they used to talk loads and loads of jargon. Over the time now, um, the jargon has dropped from like 200 words of jargon down to three. Part two, the new model of engagement. Uh, my engagement work is called, called the new model of engagement and so it's got different stages to it. So in the first stage um, it's about finding out what disabled people across Camden think is important, where they want to see change happen. So to find that out, I'm carrying out outreach across the borough of Camden with all different groups. I'm engaging them in different ways, so through focus groups or questionnaires, to find out what's important to them. And the next step? The next step will be to, obviously, to collect all the information about people's opinions, analyse it and pick out the most important issues. In the next stage, a group called the Disability Advisory Group which I'm in the process of forming now, will pick an issue to focus on. So what will happen is the uh, Disability Advisory Group will work together with some people from the council and they will form a uh, co-production team which will carry out a project aimed at resolving the issue that's been identified. So they'll try to find a solution to the problem that's been identified that will make disabled people's lives in this borough better. Councillor Adam Harrison's view of the new model of engagement. I think what's good about the new model of engagement is that it um, actively goes out to understand what, what people's needs are. It's not relying on, on people to come to a, a 
uh, set or fixed meeting uh, in the first place. Um, so it's going out to listen uh, initially, and then it's it's taking down what you've heard, uh, thinking about how you can work uh, with individuals, with the council, if that's uh, appropriate, um, and then setting a plan of action together to co-produce solutions to the, the issues you've, you've identified by, by doing that early engagement. Camden 2025, the plan for the future. Uh, one of the, the core principles of Camden 2025 is shared endeavour. So we want to be working with our residents, our community groups, um, you know, anyone in the borough who, who wants to bring about a better Camden. It's very much about co-production and working together. So I'm really pleased to see this. The results so far. I've done, as I said before, lots of outreach to meet all different groups. I've now uh, engaged with about 17 different groups across the borough and um, I'm in the late stages of forming the Disability Advisory Group. I've spoken to people at the Surma Centre, that's Bangladeshi uh, older people there. Um, I've spoken to uh, people at the Royal Association for Deaf People, uh, Cove, which is an older people's group, uh, the Holborn Community, um, Henna Asian Women's Group, uh, the Camden Chinese Group, uh, the London Irish Centre, and uh, the list goes on. But I've really tried to reach a wide range of different different types of uh, disabled people. What issues have people spoken about? People have raised concerns about 36 different issues. Uh, that includes uh, things like um, pollution, HS2, antisocial behaviour, crime, a lack of interpreters for deaf people, a lack of public toilets, a lack of social housing, poor access to buildings, uh, and complaints about buses. Here are the issues that have got the most votes so far. Antisocial behaviour came first on 27 votes, a lack of social housing came second on 22 votes, just behind on 21 votes was inadequate social care provision.